Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Critic Alex, and I actually just figured out how to get the phone landscape or get the game landscape on my phone. And this is tripping me out because the game looks super small on the screen, like everything's zoomed out. So like Meliodas is super small. The buttons at the bottom are super small and I got big fat fingers. So it's actually really hard for me to press the buttons, but we'll, we'll try to figure it out. We're not. Oh God, there's like a blue line on the on the left and right. I've never seen that before. That's hideous. Anyways, I'm not doing gambling today. Uh, today we're going to be talking about associations and why the crappy SSR or the crappy SR character that you pulled could actually be amazing. So I want to show you guys something. Um, also, because for the longest time I forgot how to get to this page, so I want, I want to show you guys how to get to this page. It's very important. It's also not that important, but it's just cool. Anywho, let, this is tripping me out. Anyways, if you're wondering how I did this, you have to be on an Android device. Now, you can always go into the settings on an Android device and also on an Apple device. It, it, this works for both types of devices. You go into game settings and you click landscape mode right there under anti-aliasing. Now, for my OnePlus 7 Pro, when I click on, it says this device does not support landscape mode. But I'm like, screw you, I'm an Android device. So you go to the App Store, you download Rotation Control by, I don't know what they're called. Anyways, it's called Rotation Control. It's got like almost a five uh, star rating, reputable um, app. It's not like sketchy, there's no ads. Um, and then you just choose from the drop down menu, you choose the rotation. So you can see there, I chose that, rot I put the little shield on and I chose the rotation on the far corner and that worked for me. I also had to turn on rotation on my device. You can see that I turned that on. Um, the, the fourth button so that is why it worked so just some tips for you guys in case it's not working for you on Android devices anyways that's not what the video is about Alex come on associations so check this out you go into any character and for example you guys probably know the association that you guys probably know the most is Bon and Jericho I see that one a lot with fake strike and PvP so you got your inventor of Bon you got your Jericho and you built them up but why, why do you build them up together? Well, because they have an association in the manga, in the anime. So this game does a really good job of um, making those lore connections for us and having them play out in meaningful ways in the game. So it's really, really nice for those of you that follow the storylines and you love, you know, the, the OTP pairing between like Escanor and Merlin, or you love, you know, Merlin and Arthur, different kind of pairing. Or, you know, you like these different pairings of characters, um, and so that can be reflected in the game. Now, all you got to do to go to the associations menu, you're here on the character menu. Click the character again. This is a secret, super secret hidden menu, guys. Click the character again. Ba-bam! There you go. And now you see there's artwork, CV, hero motion. Some of those things or all of them will be locked depending on your affinity level. But the association button will never be locked. So you just, sorry, that was my like Dr. Frank impression. Or Professor Frank. Anyways, press the association button. So here we go. This is this is something that I think adds so much flavor to the game. This is something that I think a lot of other games with a rich IP like Star Wars, like Marvel, like DC, they should really embrace these types of things because not only does it add value to shitty characters, you know, both Fart Kings have an association with Bond. It's not the best association. It's not an ultimate skill association, but it's worth something. So again, Every character you pull is worth something. Obviously, the characters are all worth something because of the coin shop. But in addition to that, the first time you pull the character, they don't turn into a coin. They turn into a character. Uh, and so that is worth, unless you're in JoJo's, that is worth something. So if you see here down at the bottom, we've got three different connections with the three different Jerichos. And you can tell these connections and these associations are different because you see the card in the middle. The card in the middle represents the ultimate skill. And if you need a better representation, rep representation of that, you click on the ultimate skill itself for the character. Wow, this looks like super ugly on my phone because of the bars. Anyways, and then you'll see that there are two versions. Obviously, you'll need to equip one of the Jerichos to have that different association attack take place. But you can see that it actually does something different. Instead of dealing 350% of attack, it actually deals 400. So there is a real valuable, um, you know, method and sort of um, uh, associate, um, incentive to get these associations. Now, obviously, you shouldn't be pulling or maybe spending platinum coins or whatever just for an association. I'm not saying you should go that far, but I am saying that um, it's good to look at your roster and see how these characters are and build them up because on top of that, you can see here, I mean, the text is actually pretty small. Maybe you guys can't see, but it says uh, increase associated base stats by 5%. And then for the second Jericho, which is the Jericho that I've built up together with you, you can see that it says increases the associated heroes base stats by 8%. The reason why there's a difference of 5% and 8% is because I've leveled up Jericho's alt. So I will show you now if we go over to Jericho. I wonder if this video is going to be like super small and super zoomed out for you guys as well. And it's going to trip you out. Anyways, I think that it might be, but I, I could be wrong. 
Anyways, so you go over to Jericho and you can see that for our ultimate skill, I have leveled it up to level four out of six. And so that le leveling up that skill, the ultimate skill of, of an associated hero, when you connect them, it will improve the base stat percentage from five to 10%. So, so it goes all the way up to double. And we've covered this in previous videos briefly, but for example, for all of the Eliz Hawks, they have an association with Meliodas. And so yes, blue and green Meliodas, green is better, but green is an SSR character. So you're gonna need to use platinum coins. I'm saving my platinum coins for a Gother because I'm a poor boy. Well, I'm an unlucky boy. And I didn't pull him from 20 plus attempts. So I have to save my platinum coins. And it's much easier to use my gold coins to upgrade the blue Meliodas. And the bonus is almost exactly the same. You can see, actually, it is exactly the same. It's 260% attack. So the bonus is exactly the same. And in this case, instead of giving 5% uh, associated stats, I'm getting the full 10% because that blue Meliodas' alt is fully maxed out. Now, yeah, you can have multiple different associations and some associations might be better in some situations. You know, you've got like this one adds defense if you use the green green more. So maybe if you're building like a really tanky Elizabeth, that's what you want. But generally speaking, you want the association that has a bonus attack. Not only does the bonus attack deal more damage, you can see 910 versus 1040. That's a pretty big difference. But on top of that, you're getting that at 5% extra stats. That's really important. Well, I mean, you'd have that either way, actually. But what's what the other thing that's important is that for the set team, you will be adding more to your CC, so the combat class. So they added this two updates ago, I believe. But the, the two types of association you have there is the one under Gustav, which is his sister Jericho. I honestly don't understand how Jericho and Gustav don't have a sword association, their brother and sister, but whatever. So that just that regular association is not worth anything beyond the 5% um, associated stats or whatever it is for alt 8% and then whatever the, the the stats are right the stats that she gives from her from her gears and then the special association effect obviously the special association effects are all different but the one that has the swords in it for example Slater and and um, what's his name Smith Simon between Slater and Simon that's going to add 1000 to your combat class so you're going to see here that my combat class is 94 96 94 96 whatever now, if I switch to a character that's better, much better equipped and better built than this Simon, the Simon is level one and he's rare. Okay, so we're going to switch to UR Galland, who is, okay, maybe that's, not a, maybe that's not a good example, but okay, we'll switch to King. Now, the stats are going to be higher, but you're going to see that the CC is actually the same or almost the same. Actually, it didn't actually change. I don't know. Oh, because I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't confirm it. Okay, hang on a second. Let me go back to King and confirm it. Man, this screen is so tiny. Maybe this was a bad idea. Okay. Oh, we lost it there. But anyways, the point I'm trying to make is the, um, it's going to go. Yeah, there we go. You can see that the CC dropped the CC dropped because we're no, wait, I switched to King. What the hell is going on with my game right now? Okay. Wow. This is brutal. Okay. I look like an, I look like a clown. All right. So swapping back over to King, like I was saying, where the hell is King now? King's gone. Swapping over to King, you can see that there's no association. So even though my CC went up, it didn't go up enough because I lost that 1000 CC from Simon versus King. And although King is UR and Simon is rare, King is level 70, Simon is level one, Simon has no gear, King has gear. It's only, it was only a jump of like what, 200 points because that 1000 that you're getting from Simon from that uh, duo attack, that combined attack, you can see right there, it says combat class 1000. That's actually worth a lot. So. The associations are actually really important to pay attention to. It's something that I didn't pay attention to when I was first playing. And it's something that I sort of thought, you know, man, I got all these SR characters and rare characters and they're kind of just worthless. They're kind of just shitty. They're really not that shitty and they're not that worthless. Obviously, some of them like Jude and Ruin definitely are. But for a lot of the other ones, you have, of course, things like affinity. So even though you're not using this Gil Thunder, you're going to use the other Gil Thunder. But this affinity bonus uh, stat, you know, from this gear, whatever it is, outfit, cosmetic or weapon will apply to him. So that's an important thing to consider. But then on top of that, and the focus of the video is the association and the combined attack and the bonus stats that you're going to be getting. So it's really important to take a look at that. It's also important to level up these characters because let's say if I do invest and I'm, I'm planning to eventually, but if I do invest in Simon and I build him up on top of that 1000 combat class, that's going to raise Slater up massively. And then as an additional bonus, it gives Slater a much better alt. So rather than just doing 540% of his attack, he's going to do almost 100% more just by having Simon. So just pulling a level one rare Simon 
immediately bumps up the value of a character that you're using all the time for deathmatch or for other content um, and for characters that you're given at the beginning let's say blue melee he's always going to have that value for you to bonus and to, to pair up with uh, Liz Hawks uh, as an association. I actually wonder if he's also an association for the regular, the Princess Elizabeth. He probably is, right? Yeah, he is. So he's not a combat association. He doesn't buff their alt. I believe it's Fart King that buffs the alt. Yeah. So he doesn't buff her alt, but she has a healing alt. So it's not really as important. So you could still take advantage of, of Blue Melly and he could, you know, double dip. So he could provide a huge offensive stat buff and the combat class buff to all of the Eliz Hawks. And then for the Princess Hawks and the Hostess, or sorry, the, the Princess Hawks. Wow. For the Princess Elizabeths and the Hostess Elizabeths, he can still provide, he still provides the attack bonus. He still provides the stat bonus from having his alt maxed out. And then um, you still have that association to um, put together uh, on your team. So hopefully uh, the, the little secret association page has been helpful. I always forget. So I just wanted to make a video to permanently remind myself of this. Um, not every character has a combat class association, so you sort of just have to deal with it. The combat class association is also a really good way in PvP of boosting your CC. So you should honestly consider that, especially if you are really low on CC for geared PvP, because geared PvP is a lot more expensive to raise your CC. In ungeared PvP, you know, it's like awakening, limit breaking, it's pretty straightforward. And then you can use food, of course, like HP food is really good for boosting your CC and actually giving you a valuable, sorry, small flex here. Uh, and, and giving you a uh, valuable bonus, I finally am close to getting to Masters and Elite. I'm so happy. But in, in geared PvP, I'm getting an extra 2,000 CC just by having Blue Melly and Blue Arthur there for um, Eliz Hawk and Merlin. And if I had an association, if I had the, uh, you know, the combat association for Arthur, and if I had a combat association for Galland, they don't have it. But if I did, I'd be getting another 2,000 CC on top of that, which would push me to almost 43,000, 143,000, excuse me, CC. So that is pretty meaningful stuff. And I just love the way that they, they, they illustrate and they make that lore connection from the manga and from the anime in the game. I really enjoy that. Um, it gives pretty much every character value and it makes me basically want to build up every character. So yeah, wanted to let you guys know about that. Wanted to talk about that. Also wanted to show off this hilarious, um, you know, landscape mode. Let me know if this is like weird and zoomed out and if we should go back to the other one. I, ca I can also um, go off an iPad that I have if I can get a dongle for that, if it can, if it can ship to me um, in, a, in a timely manner. So let me know if you guys want to see that and what that looks like. But yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of associations and combat class and the alt thing. And also let me know what you think of the look of this video. Some people said that the looks of the other videos because they're on blue stacks don't look that good. I want to get the maximum possible quality for you guys. Uh, and I worked hard to do that in things like Marvel Future Fight. So I also want to get it done in this game as well because this is a gorgeous game and you don't want a game that looks beautiful to then look crummy on YouTube because I got bad rendering or I have, you know, a bad setup with uh, with the old files here and, and all this uh, technology. So yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care.